Hey folks, Danny here, Partey. Good to be back home. We had a blast and I want to say thank you to all the people who, the well-wishers out there who wished us a good time. We had one, brother. I'm telling you, we uh, there was a place down on the strip called Benny's. They're in the center of Tybee Island, uh, right before 80 ends, if you've ever been in that area. Uh, and they had karaoke one night. We stopped in. We just walking around and uh, we stepped in and there were about three or four different wedding parties going on. We met this couple from Boston, had a good time with them and uh, did some Jovi and some Journey songs and just rocked the friggin' house. It was a great time. So uh, good to kind of get your batteries recharged and get back home. So let's talk about the elephant in the room. That three days, that was for Ken and that was for me. Ken got his three days, and I got what I needed out of it. So, there's more to come. Just hold on tight. And for those of you who want a little payback and have purchased from Mr. Bird, whether you got your money back or not, just be ready to give some information soon, and we'll give you a little payback. So, you guys just hold tight. Uh, also, another little thing I wanted to bring up, and this is trivial, and everybody knows. I mean, I'm preaching to the choir here that Mr. Bird really is truth challenged in every aspect. But even what he told you about that $50,000 uh, small claims court, untrue. Uh, I, I don't know, you know, I've never been involved in small claims court, but I did mention that to my attorney. And my attorney told me that that's a bunch of BS, that the stakes in a small claims court at the highest is usually around $7,500 to $8,000. He's heard of it going up to $10,000 in special cases, but you're not going to have a $50,000 small claims court. So, once again, we all know that Mr. Bird does not know how to tell the truth. Everything he tells you is a lie. I mean, he's a crackhead liar. What do you expect out of a crackhead liar? So, all of that being said, we also heard that an investigator should be assigned to the FTC case, that's the Federal Trade Commission, that that case should get an investigator assigned sometime next week. Now, I didn't hear, they weren't sure if it was going to be early in the week, later in the week, uh, but that's the word that we have right now. So as soon as that happens, I'm going to let you know, no doubt. In the meantime, we're going to get back to business. We're going to be focusing on screens. Uh, we're going to take care of Ken, have no doubt. We're going to take care of Ken. At this point, that's a done deal. I'm tired of listening to this crackhead run his mouth out there, so we're going to deal with Ken. And there won't be a damn thing he can do about it. We here at Partey, we're going to continue to push our screens into the public eye, and we're going to get reviews from real people, okay? That's something you're never going to see from Ken's channel. Okay, that separates the men from the boys once again. See, Mr. Bird has shown, one, he's scared to do anything with Sprint Innovations. He's scared to display against their products because he knows they're going to send hellfire down on him. He's also scared to send anything out of his house to have a published professional review because he knows he would not like the results. Okay, so the only person that you're going to hear talk about how amazing his products are are Ken. That's the only place. It's the only place you've ever heard it. It's the only place you're going to continue to hear it. You can talk about contracts, NDAs, all that kind of bullshit all you want to. At the end of the day, everybody knows that the only place, the only house that anyone talks about screens being amazing are in your creaky old house. That's it. That's the only place you're going to hear that crap because he knows if he sends that stuff out and it's not somebody who purchased, if he sends it out for somebody to do a review, that it's not going to bode well for him. So that's all I need to know, Ken, because we're going to push ours out into the public. And that's something you will never be able to do. It's all just a bunch of smack talk. Everything that this toothless crackhead does is smack talk. And with that, guys, glad to be home and look forward to talking to you guys more. So uh, we'll get started on some displays here over the next couple of days. And you guys take care.